Hey guys, uh, Robin Dressler, your vile vlogger here. What's up? Uh, with my first ever toy review. Uh, I have a lot of toys, a lot of Transformers, in fact. And I decided that, hey, I should do reviews of these guys because, you know, these, these, this guy in particular, these guys were part of my childhood. You know, I, I grew up with Transformers. Um, it's always kind of been my, uh, it's always kind of been one of those things that I've just always loved. And always, like, you know, people know me know I want to write comic books in the future, and I would love to steal the uh, the rights to do the Transformers comics from IDW, who, by the way, does a great job. I, I love IDW's comics. But uh, get the right the the rights to write my own Transformers comics. But um, that would technically be running the asylum. Uh, so yeah, I got to review the toys. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about this. I, I just actually did a, a full review. It was great. I looked at my camera. The record light was not on. I did a whole review without recording it. And it was flaw it was flawless. But now that recording's actually on, I can't even talk right. <laughs> but yeah, Masterpiece, Optimus Prime, pretty much the crown jewel of my, of my collection, because you know, Optimus Prime is... One of my heroes, as as lame and nerdy and you know that little factoid alone is never gonna get me laid, but um, <laughs> Prime Prime is my hero. He's been my hero for a long time. Um, and I guess the reason why is just because well, you know, he's Optimus Prime. You know, what more can you say? He's you know leader of the Autobots. He's sacrificed himself in combat numerous times uh, to save the universe. Uh, yeah, he's up. He's Optimus freaking Prime. Um, yeah. So let's get down to the toy, but we have a few accessories to go over first. Is Ion Blaster. I think it's an Ion Blaster. Pretty sure it's an Ion Blaster. Um, which fits in his hand pretty nicely. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I mean later. And I don't know if that's light piping in there, or if that's just really reflective green plastic. Either way, it does look very nice. This thing is extremely show accurate. And aside from that little screw, it it looks perfect. I mean, you could probably uh, probably get some like green stuff and put it in the, the little hole and paint it. Um, I'm not that good with stuff like that, so I'm not going to. It's his main gun. Uh, his melee weapon, the Energon Axe. Oh, it's used in one episode, but apparently is popular enough that Animated Prime and War for Cybertron Prime use an axe as a weapon. I just kind of clipped onto his hand because if his hand would go in and the Energon axe would be like mounted there. Whoosh. Yeah. And uh, Megatron in his gun mode. I don't know why they chose to include gun Megatron. But he actually fits in Prime's hand really, really nicely. Pro probably the nicest fit of the two guns is Megatron in gun mode. Um... So I guess you could pretend it was like during the Cybertronian Alliance era that happened in the UK comics between G1 and G2. And, you know, Prime's going to combat and Megatron's covering him or something. I, I don't really know. I'm just nerding out because this is actually... It's, it's sculpted so nicely. I mean, it, it, it honestly does look just like Megatron did in the show, except with gray instead of, of white, so it's actually more toy accurate. You can pull off the super silencer uh, little extender thing and scope to have him just in his pistol mode but and, and you know and his toy and transform and everything he, he didn't have those but they would just appear in gun mode but you know the, the scope became his cannon so big ass gun <laughs> I think it's just cool so let me actually move these out of the way. On to Prime himself. He's mo it's a mix of die cast and plastic. Decent mix of both to to do what the parts need to do. The front is that's die cast. It just look he moves. He rolls so smoothly. Like let me show you. Just give him a nice and push and rolls very nicely. Um, rubber wheels. Apparently, they say f de oh, desert formula on them. Show you that. They spin very smoothly. 
Right here. These just look really nice. Uh, the back wheels are on shocks, so they can move. Uh, he actually has little little sticker lights. That was lame. Uh, yeah, there's actually I don't think any kibble on this figure. Uh, it's it's done. It's just so great. There's like just almost zero kibble on him. Uh, inside there, if, if I can show you, just kind of open him up, there is what appears to be a seat, which is pretty much really just there to hide his head. His head's right behind that seat. But I I like how they kind of put it in like in a seat and then kind of fogged over these, so you don't really see the, the innards. Uh, this, this toy is so well built. And he does have, uh, right there, if you have a trailer you want to attach to him, a trailer peg. Uh, the Japanese uh, Takara release came with a cardboard trailer that you could build yourself. He did not for the American Hasbro release, and I wish he had because that was some dust in him. <sighs> Clear out the dust. Because I would have loved that, just like pull a trailer around. But um, I think you can connect uh, Power Master's trailer to him, Power Master Prime's trailer, and possibly even Armada Prime. I haven't tested that one out. I'm going to have to to see uh, if you can or not. But he, he looks really good. Um, these are little springlies. Smokestacks kind of spring forward and pop back. And it, to me, it seems like an hom uh, a homage, homage. I think it's homage. I, I don't know. My pronunciation is terrible. To, G, to G2 because um, they like flip forward and kind of, to me, resemble machine guns or some kind of weapon. So it's like G2's heavy, heavy you know, gun toting thing. And. Prime, Prime had like two Uzis in that. It was great. I, li I liked G2. But, uh, yeah. Prime in vehicle mode. Looks just so nice. The front is... The joints are a little loose right there, so parts will kind of pop up like that. But, uh... Yeah, chromed out... Uh, I think it's a grill. Chromed out grill. Chromed out tires. Chromed out little things right there. Smokestacks. And this, this is what I think is... Probably one of the best parts of the figure. That's a sculpt. That's not painted or sticker. That's a sculpted Autobot symbol. That just looks great. Yeah, I love this figure. Let's transform him, shall we? Okay, so to start off with the transformation, you're gonna want to take these little things and flip 